Okay, I'm back. And I, this one's going to be a pretty informative one, possibly a little shorter. A uh, couple of things I wanted to point out. Whoops, I want to go there. I, don't know, I just want to turn down all this stuff. No music, no sound, blah, blah, blah. All right, done. All right, a couple of things I want to point out just to kind of help some people who are just getting into this or just watching this. You see, ah, perfect timing. This here says under attack. If you clip on it, it'll take you right to the dwarf. Uh, that is having the issues. This applies to just about anything from drowning to hungry and whatnot. Um, this is your mana for casting spells. As you do get, as you level up, you'll start getting other ones. You'll get one that's a light that lights up the area pretty bright, stays there for a little bit. You'll get another one for uh, calling the dwarves all over to one spot. One second. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I just want to point some of those out. We got some sleeping dwarves. Also, these are not decorations. You're actually going to need those, so if you ever see those pop up, grab them. At this particular point, I cannot because I lock them out. That's okay. I'm going to be mining here pretty soon anyway. I'm not the world's greatest miner. I kind of do just, if I see it, I grab it, like right here. I'm sure everybody's got their own little method. Uh, everything from strip mining to whatnot. I don't know anything about that stuff. So if I see some stuff I need, I go get it. And like this. Sand, just like in Minecraft, you want to make sure you don't get underneath it because it does uh, fall on your dwarves slowly so they do get time to get out. So I'm going to start mining here. But if you ever see these, like here's some crystal, just grab it because there's going to be some higher up. Um, crafts that you're going to get that require these and they are hard to find especially the green ones I had a difficult time finding those there's a store up here you might have seen in the last few videos I go around as far as I know it's not working yet they said it was I haven't been there yet not sure what's in there oh there you go dwarf store I got eight coins so I can buy my matches I needed this is actually it's almost like cheating uh, it doesn't look like you get everything it looks oh yeah there they are right there wow I can buy oh this is pretty nice this kind of gives makes takes the game off vantage a little bit because the last map this store wasn't working now it's working and I had to dig for all these these are real difficult to find especially these guys the crystals very hard to find but and they're not really expensive either but coins are hard to come by too so it we'll see I'll play it out it is what it is this guy here, you want to put this in your home. What he does is tells you the condition of your comfort level. If you mouse over, it'll tell you. Right now, there's none. And the reason being is if you watch these stars, that means there's an opening over here that's not shut off, which would be here. So if I put a door here, which I'll put one right here. If I put a door there, and I think we're okay. Who's getting attacked over here? A snail. Oh, this guy. Well, he can't get up there. Come on. He killed my dwarf. That's my fault. I kind of screwed up there. Well, that's fine. All right, a couple of things I lightly went over also, because I was just trying to build everything real fast so I could get my scaffolds. The traps and the cage and the fence. Fences slow down the monsters when they come. But they're still moving. They just they're just slow. I don't want that there. I, they can go there all they want. Put some trees. The other thing is the traps. Um, I don't use those too often. Um, let me see where they at. Traps. Traps right here. Click the info. Uh, Ammo's weak. Yeah, that's. Not, I think it only stops the trolls. I never really had it stop anything. Uh, what was the other one? Cage. This is the one that's, that works the best. This one that holds them for a small time, but and you can attack whatever's inside it, and they can't hit you back. So um, you can use this if you like. But if you have your dwarves armored up really well, with lots of weapons and armor, you should be okay. Um, the other issue, other thing I use a lot in here, especially on long distances, are portals. If I start getting really far out, I don't want them walking back. So here I'll grab some wheat. Grab these whenever they pop up because you're going to need them. Um, what else we got here? Graveyards. I'm not sure what those are. Either those are for the dwarves or that's where the skeletons spawn or both, but you can destroy those too. Again, I don't care because my dwarves are armored up just nice. So 
I don't want to kill the snail. Snails are good for slime. That's about it. I don't care if they hang around. Um, that's pretty much it. Now the portals, how they work, it, you, wherever you put them at, they're, they'll automatically... Here, I'll do one right here so you can see. I have quite a bit of mana anyway. And they cost two mana, as you can see by the small one. So I'll put one right here. No, wait a minute. Help if I highlight it. There. There, you notice one appears in there? And they will use it if it's nearby. They're just... The AI is pretty good on that. See? Poof. There he is. So for long trips, um, like way out over here, or way down here, you know what? Let's help this guy out. Give you an example here. I'm going to put these scaffolds in here. There. And he can move up and down. I don't know why he's not going this way yet. But I'm going to start doing some mining under here. Um, but the portals are nice because no matter how far they are out, you put a portal down, they use it, they go in and go out. I use it uh, quite a bit. That works out pretty good. What's the other thing? Um, the timer at the top here, you'll see. Now, first of all, you're going to have a certain amount of dwarves per level. There's seven. Uh, for instance, I'm level seven, so I should have seven dwarves. That means four, three of them are dead. Uh, they're not really dead. I consider them knocked out because there's a timer, and each timer represents uh, the dwarf resurrection. So in 59 seconds here, as you see, there's going to be another dwarf coming back up, and then the timer will start all over again, I believe, at uh, three minutes. Um, I didn't pay attention to that last time. So I'm working with four dwarves. And remember when I said when they die, they lose everything? So these guys are still fully. But the new ones that pop in, you're going to have to rearm them again, uh, like him. Give him his weapons, his axe, and he's okay. So when the next one comes up, I'm going to do the same thing over again. So that should be much on that. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you how to do, just a real short one here, um, is going to be, this is a lot of questions I got on this one here is how to make walls on a house. Ah, uh, come on. Click. So I'll make, just make a real short example here. All right, I'll go here. Oh, great. I don't have much wood. Oh, what happened there? That's fine. Where's how you do this? The, wa the, the way you do this... One, two. I'm going to grab this dwarf. Come on. Come on. Take control. There you go. I want to use him. Ah, actually, you know what? Release him. I want this guy. He's got him. There. Here's how we do this. We're going to go up here. Um, hang on a second. Here we go. He's not jumping very good. There we go. God, it's hard. To All right. Here's how we're going to do this. Click on this. Put a wall. Another one here, another one here, and one up here. And I'm not going to build a full shelter. I'm just doing this to show you how walls are made. Okay, this is your back wall. Now, to get a wall that counts as a wall, if that makes any sense, sorry, you, you take another block and you put it right in front of the one on top. Same thing on top here. And there it is. Now, how do you get these to change shape is you make sure you have, you already have a wall selected. With that selected wall you click on a wall and it'll change you just keep clicking it to get it the direction you want it to go. See? That changes. This one you can change. There you go. That's how walls are made. It's you just put but if you don't have that, let's say you don't have anything, just a mouse, this will turn it into a right, I'm gonna reset for a second. That'll that'll mark it to to be removed. See that? And I don't want to remove it. Well, actually, here I do. But if you click on a board and then click on it, it'll cause it to rotate into various shapes, pre-designed shapes. So there you go. That's how you do it. So what I'm going to do is have these guys tear this down because I don't need this anymore. Just want to show you how these walls are made. Oh, good. Sure. Our dwarf is going to tear that apart. <laughs> and that takes care of how to make those. Hope that clears up a little bit. This video isn't going to be too long. I just wanted to show a couple things in here. 
Something else for future notes is pay close attention to these bricks. See these roots? If you have a, not bricks, I'm sorry, ground with these roots, what that means is you can plant seeds on that and grow wheat. You're going to need that information later on because a lot of people have been asking, how do I grow wheat? You take grain, which I sometimes you already get it. Uh, here's some wheat here, but I don't have any. Yeah, here's some grain. Sometime through all this mining and this farming going on, you'll pick up some odds and ends you don't know about, and seeds are one of those. But you get seeds from uh, the wheat as well. So that's probably it on this video. I just want to cap off a few things that some people are, are asked me about and pointed out. Um, I should just about carry it. Uh, yeah, and then so the next one, if anybody has some ideas on some good tips and tricks for mining, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to randomly dig around because we're going to start processing that tree here. Uh, what do we got here? This guy is a smith. Do I have a smith here? Got a carpenter. Well, I'll make him a smith too. Now, back to my dwarves. See, these guys, this is one of the guys that resurrected. And he doesn't have anything, so get him, get him set up. There's his stuff, so he's good. And Utter, Uter, how you pronounce his name? Utter doesn't have. Utterly is utterly naked. And he needs a helmet. I need a pickaxe for him and some armor. Uh, Drong, he don't got no armor either. Here's him. Well, my armor, did I lose it? I must have lost it. Anyway, we'll go into that next video. I'll make some more stuff here. Uh, again, keep in mind, if you find crystals around here, get them, stock up on them. That's just another layer that you dig through. Um, I'm still at no comfort level. What's going on? I have a door here. They're saying something's open here. I wonder if that's related to... Um, that's okay. That's okay. I wonder if I need a door over here, I'm betting. They're saying the red stars indicate that there's something wrong or something missing. And I'm not quite sure. So I will tinker with this, come back later, fill everybody in. And I don't need those. See how easy these are to move? They're so much nicer. I don't know why they're digging over there anyway. So, anyway, I'll be back. If you have any questions, again, post. And then we'll see you later. Be uh, ta ta for now.